The first day's cycle was a baptism of fire. We battled through the soup, which is what we girls called the open sewers of black gloop. We also battled through the heat, the dust, the crowds and the accidents. Yes, I'm fine. No, I'm not fine. We made it to first camp for a good rest and a bit of traditional entertainment. But now it's day two and we have even further to travel. A whopping 98 kilometres and plenty of hurdles to get over. This morning, the first leg, a gentle warm-up of 18 kilometres. It started so well. Good morning, Raman. Oh. First stop of the day, the first leg was really good. The loo is anywhere you can see, so don't look. <laughs> but we very quickly began to unravel. Jill's having a little bit of a wobbly morning. Uh, she's feeling very emotional, very vulnerable. So we've just had lots of tears. She's all right. She didn't really want to talk about it on camera because she's feeling so upset and can't work out why she's so emotional. Now Jill is finally here, pedalling away, and there's plenty of time to think on how her life has changed, coming to terms with the breakdown of her marriage. And it's all very scary for her. Mm, a lot on my mind today, yeah. Susie has technical troubles. First her chain has come off and now her gears have gone. The first downhills we've had. Oh. How frustrating I is that? Come it's on, the I'm going to need my gears. If I'm going to get up these hills, I am going to need my gears. Susie has sent the girls on ahead while her bike is repaired. But now she has to cycle on the lonely Indian country roads and she's not happy about it. Julie and Jill cycled on. So I just thought when it was fixed, they just turned around and went, done catch them up actually they were quite away in front and I was on my own but I was going through some places and I felt really quite uncomfortable. It's hard for 97 women to stay together on these roads. Julie and Jill are up ahead waiting and wondering where Susie's gone. We're trying to catch you up, we thought you were in front. We're trying to catch you up. <laughs> Susie is angry at Jill and Julie and she's not going to hide her feelings. It's the height of the midday sun, we're up in the mountains, it's hilly and hot and everyone has had enough, including me. My bike feels slow, my legs feel tired, my feet have gone numb. One thing that's distracting me from my aches and pains is the view. As we're cycling along, we're passing by some fantastic locations and we couldn't go on without paying a visit to one of these homes. Our cameras were invited into the house of the Damran family. Dan means well and Ram means lord, so they're the lords of their well and they come from an ancient warrior tribe and their ancestors have lived and farmed this land for nearly a thousand years. It's a world away from London and the studio. Back on the road, and a little disaster can bring light relief. I'm so thrilled. You know what I'm saying? My legs are tired. La, 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 la. I've got a puncture. <clears throat> this is the tiny culprit, the camel thorn, that's causing all our problems. And once I had a puncture, everyone wanted one. We're having a puncture party. Well, I'm just wondering what the third thing is going to be. Yesterday it was falling in the soup. Today a puncture, so you're not coming with me tomorrow. No, I'm definitely <laughs> leaving her on her own. <laughs> We are a superstitious lot, but seriously, cycling through these rural parts of Rajasthan takes some nerve. We've got to grips with the potholes and the locals. And now we've got the wildlife to go through. If you're not swerving to avoid a herd of cows, you're falling into those evil camel thorns. Day two is almost over, and so far we've had two cases of dehydration, eight falls, and 31 grazed knees and elbows. Ten hours after we set off, and Joe, Susie, Julie and I arrive safely at the Bajrawati Palace, our home for tonight. Oh, my back is so sore. For Susie, today's journey was a milestone. It's meant a lot that she's conquered so much on the ride today. That was the longest I've ever ridden. I can't believe I've done it. And it was hot and it was hilly.
I don't know really, it's just a little bit emotional. I need it home sick. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I'm very tired. <laughs> Whenever a guest stays at the palace, the owner gives a school uniform to one of the village children. These people have so very little, and the gift of two pieces of cloth means so much to them. And now it's my turn to give this little donation to Gerdi. When you look at all these little children's faces, it puts a lot of things into perspective. Thank you very much. Thank you. Ram Ram. Oh, that's lovely. One, two, three. Shukriya. Oh, how can you moan? <laughs> Can't moan about a sore bum when there's that really, can you? Got no right to moan. So far we've covered 181 kilometres, but we're less than halfway through our journey and Jill and Susie still have mountains to climb before they reach the finish line. Day three tomorrow, and more tears, and more tears. <laughs>